Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is Tuesday night, and you know what that means. Actually, I don't automatically assume that you know what that means. So I'm just going to tell you, it means that I'm live. And it also means that Terry79 is first. Wow, she is on the ball. Good to see everybody here. We've got Chuck and Plata is here. He's itching for an unboxing. And stay tuned to the channel because it very well may be coming soon. An unboxing, yes indeed, for Chuck and Plata. And it might be an extra surprise in there too. Vogus is here. Vogus for Vein of Gold and Silver. Good channel, good guy. Check him out. Uh, he made us aware of some very valuable information about some of these really slick uh, fake accounts and channels out there trying to bait people into, um, uh, you know, a hack. So stay hack free from Vogus and check out his channel. Give him his new channel so subscription there. You can see him there. Juan Ortiz is here and Jeff Coney is here. Hello, Jeff. Good to see you. All right. Let's press on here. Uh the president has been speaking, or they had their press conference on the coronavirus, and they're going to say that there's going to be more cases to come, but they're uh, confident that the mitigation efforts will help. So hopefully we'll see how that, but we're praying for everybody out there and uh, everybody hanging in there through this. It's a tough time, for sure, a little different. Uh, never happened before in this country, this type of a situation, but uh, we'll pull through. In the meantime, the precious metal markets are reacting uh, as such, too, what's going on here in many different ways. It's uh, been a, certainly a crazy couple of weeks here. Silver Drill Pickles here. Rocky Mountain Bear is here. And Bee Demon is here. Hello, Bee Demon. Good to see you. All right. And Juan Ortiz. And I have some coffee. And we're going to slurp to bring in the Barbara. Yes, the coffee slurping is my crutch. I do... I meant that I rely on it. I rely on the, but it's decaf now, so I'm getting there. Hey, Chuck and Plata says, hey, Sal. You must have known what's going to be here. Hello to Chuck and Plata on the role meant to manufacture medical visors for the NHS. And we have a greeting from Like My Name, Get Your Own. Thank you so much. Hope you press the like on the way in. Hello, All Is One Now is here, and Mark B is here. Good to see you. All right, All Is One Now. Good to slurp. Yes, indeed, the slurp nation. Part of the Slurp Nation. All right, very good. And Silver Honda's here. He drives a blue Honda. All right. Apropos for a Silver Honda to drive a blue Honda. Indeed. And it's an Accord, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is an Accord. All right, very good. Napalm Death. Dude, I love that band. Uh, Napalm Death is a great band. Their earlier stuff was better, I think, than their newer stuff. Eric Records, good stuff. And he says, Morning Dealer finally... Uh, Set my package. I will view them through my protective visor. All right. Very good. Napalm death. All right. Cyber Current Twitcher says, what I want to know is, do they have silver in them? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. My guess is probably not any at all, but that would be cool if they did. Silver Smith made it. All right. Silver Smith is here. And uh, Silver Bushman is here saying physical metal short. Yes, I think there's a shortage. It's the Silver Fist is here, well fisted. All right, uh, all right. Mud Swat's not there. He's not with me. Well, why is that? Because he is self isolating. He's not self loathing. I thought for a minute there, at my first glance, I thought it said self loathing, but no. Mud Swat is simply self isolating. Vega Stacker is here. Bought some silver to local LCS. That's open here. Premiums have gone up. Okay, wow. Yes, indeed. Uh, man, by the way, check out Vegas Stacker. He's got a new channel, so give him a subscription. You get a chance, all right. Hot here today, South Slurp and cold coffee in the Dominican Republic. Do they have any COVID cases in the Dominican Republic? Chuck, I'm curious to know. And are you being safe there? Be careful. Alaska Mission says it's like the big poker game. My question is who is holding all the fiat paper uh, that they bought gold with and keeps getting printed? If you were a gold supplier, would you trade for dollars right now? If so, we can print you some nice new ones real quick. Yeah, exactly. That's right, Alaskan Missions. All right, very good. Let's move on through here. By the way, guys, uh, just a little word of warning. I have restarted my modem this morning. I'm going to do that before every live stream now just to make sure that's not the issue because we did have some connection issues before. This platform that I'm using right now is unforgiving. 
it is completely unforgiving uh, in that regard. So um, uh, it um, if it goes out, I'm done and I have to go to another platform. So we'll do that if it does, but hopefully it won't happen. All right, very good. Rocky Bull Balboina, says Tricky Guy. Yes, indeed. All right. Jamie Foxx is here. Volume seems a little lower. Huh. I don't know. It's it's peaking out. It's coming here towards the end. Are everybody else having a hard time hearing me? Let me listen to it on my end oh, here. Sure. We'll do that if it does, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it won't happen. happen. All right, very good. I'm hearing pretty good on my end. Uh, it's uh, it's little, literally near peaking zero. But you don't want to go too much to, over that because it uh, it will uh, clip. Distort. Acrobatic Jesus. Scottsdale man has been deemed critical infrastructure and is helping with the response in Italy. Pretty cool that these mints are helping like this. Yes, that is very cool. That is awesome that Scottsdale's. I didn't know Scottsdale was doing that too. That's awesome. DW is here. Hello, DW. Welcome. And Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here saying hello, members one and all. The wonderful Cyber Curtain Twitcher. And by the way, you guys are want to get a check out Cyber Curtain Twitcher for his silver slides. They are revolutionary and they're one of a kind. There's nothing like that out there. So another channel, I forget who it was, talked about a silver slide. They showed a different brand. I was like, oh no. I mean, yes, there are I'm sure there's probably less, but the Cyber Curtain Twitcher was the first person I know of that ever created such a thing. So um I think it's really cool. I mean, they're handcrafted, very well built, well worth every penny, and they're consistent and a great, uh, great thing. Winning Image Photography is here. She beat her hubby, Silver Steeler, who is here. Good to see both you guys. Welcome. In fact, I need to uh, catch up on some videos. I've seen Winning, Winning Image Photography posted a video on her channel. So um, I'm going to check that out probably after this live stream. But also want to make you guys aware of Stacking Stormtrooper. He's going to have his auction tonight, um, and uh, he has a VIP auction after that for his subscribers and viewers. I probably won't be able to make that. However, um, if you want to check out some cool products or just have a good time hanging out, it's a fun time, and he is entertaining. Yes, indeed. He is much more entertaining than I am, and uh, Stacking Stormtrooper. Yes, indeed. Check him out at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, indeed. Okay, Ryan D. says, The average person doesn't own gold and silver. Not sure how the public could sell stuff they don't have. They aren't banks. Yes, that's true. But the thing is, is we have this thing called eBay. We have this thing called local coin shops, pawn shops, which I discourage you from selling to local coin I mean, to pawn shops. Don't sell to pawn shops. But uh, there's a lot of different places you can sell. And... Uh, this big demand is probably some people that haven't been bought at least for a while or maybe new buyers coming into it. Native Stacker is here. Hello, Native Stacker. And Days and Confused Stacker is here. Hello, Days and Confused Stacker. Check out his channel too. He's been posting some great stuff. He has been on a stacking. He's been doing really well with his stacking. Um, so check him out. A Days and Confused Stacker. But if I tell you what, you watch his videos, you may be dazed, but there's... But it's complete precision and um, and clear guidance as to what he's doing. Calculated and well done. No confusion there, even though his name is Days and Confused Stacker. All right. Mm. All right, very good. And uh, Tricky Guy can attest to ECP and Stacky. So EC, uh, ECP has been doing some auctions too, I guess. So um, Tricky Guy has bought from both of them, and they deliver within a few days. Tons of fun to bid. Very cool. Awesome. Testimonial there for that, if that's your thing, if you enjoy it. Hello, Wing Zero is here, and Barbara Carbone is here. There's Barbara Carbone. Here's a little slurp. All right, here's a slurp for Barbara. Mm, very good. All right, good to see you guys. And Acrobatic Jesus is here. We just responded to one of his comments. So thank you, Acrobatic Jesus. He said that Scottsdale Mint was needing critical infrastructure. I have to look into that. That's pretty cool. Thanks for being here, Acrobatic Jesus. Welcome to you, my friend. Uh, okay, let's see here. One Biz Kid says Bauer Hockey Equipment has already re reallocated resources to making Venical Visors since last week. Very cool. That's awesome. That's a that's a great uh, transition from hockey equipment. I think that's a good 
a way to do it. Take your already existing mask, maybe, and uh, equipment and turn it into a medical equipment. That's awesome. Yes, I loved uh, Winnie Image Photography's video. Cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to checking it out for sure. That's awesome. You guys give her a subscription, Winning Image Photography. And while you're at it, check out Silver Steeler as well. It's got a great channel. Low Blood Pressure says, are they going to put Queen Elizabeth Poopy on it? Like to do everything else? <laughs> My guess is probably not. And but I'd be curious to see one of those to see if there's any uh, mint mark or anything on it. You know that'd be kind of wild. That's pretty neat what they're doing. Okay, let's see here. Hey, thanks, Jamie Fox. He says hit that like button. We've got um, how many people we have watching right now? We have 55 watching, 14 thumbs up. Appreciate that, guys. Donald in New Mexico is he here? Let's see. He says the UK is very serious after BJ got the bug. What will it take here? Oh, man, we're already taking them pretty darn serious, I'd say, here. Uh, for sure. What else would you have them do, Donald, New Mexico? Um, Boris Johnson was talking about there. Hi, Uncle Sal. I need an unboxing really bad. It's coming. There'll be one coming around. We'll be coming around the, there'll be an unboxing coming around the mountain when she comes. There'll be an unboxing coming around the mountain when she comes. Yes, indeed. I won't say the rest of it, as I think you know how the rest of it goes. Rocky Superstar. Maybe this is the first step to bring back manufacturing items in the USA again. Yes, it very well could be. I think they're going to rethink a lot of things after this is over, for sure. All right. Very good. Ah, let's see here. As we slurp on and scroll on here, Stefan Grafham says, Sad to say, but this sounds like people who are dying are the old and those who are completely dependent on government. This sets off red flags of government cleansing the population. If government cared about the people, they would be protecting those who would be most affected, the old and those who are weak. I don't see how this video has anything to do with that. Uh, although the concept of socialized medicine is a different story. But uh, anyways, that's a different story. <laughs> Wayne Richards, the F1 McLaren team are making a ventilator too. It's wonderful to see a company think of others at a time like this. Yes, it sure is. It sure is. And just goes to show you that not all corporations are evil or bad or all that stuff when they're coming together like this. And the McLaren team is a it's a it's a high octane, literally, sports car manufacturer. Great cars, from what I understand. But non con streamist. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Good evening, Stefan Grafman is here. Stephen, good to see you, sir. All right, he's here with us. Very good, thank you. All right, uh, Eddie's Little Stacks, uh, Stacking Nerd, thanks for sharing this with Salivator. Thank you, all right, very good. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Joe Costello, the, the Turd Larderdale channel was doing a disturbing video called COVID Suspects Possibly Being Murdered by Killer Vaccines. Uh, interesting, okay. Uh, I've, it probably meant, uh, I don't know if it's the vaccines or that cure or the thing that I talked about. That was in the news. But anyways, Nate, checking in on you, Sal. Wild times we're in. I recently sprung for the Brutes 8-ounce dragon because what the heck? I need a dragon to keep me in my stack and my 12-gauge company. All right, very good. Well, congratulations, Nate O. Very cool. Let's see here. Let's see. All right. I'm Loki. I'm Loki. I think I've caught the Carlsbad virus for this evening. Oh man, Carlsberg, Carlsberg. That beats the Oliver Cromwell virus, right? Where they exhume your body and then they execute you posthumously. That would not be good. Mm. All right, six foot distance between you, Chiefly Chieftain says. Yes, everybody, practice safe distancing in here. Everybody make their comments six feet away from each other. Actually, I heard on the news this evening, they say that that guideline, the six-foot guideline of social distancing, is, was actually conceived in the 1930s. And they say that when people sneeze, it can some droplets can travel up to 23 feet. Yes, indeed, 23 feet. Crazy. Insane in the membrane to think about that. 
Kevin W., somehow I think the royal family will get a supply first. Royalty does have its perks, you know. Keep calm and mask on. That's right. Well, it is called the Royal Mint after all, right? <laughs> That's right. All right, indeed. But apparently, old BJ, Boris Johnson, uh, was not immune from it. All right, very good. Floyd gives me some thumbs up. Thank you, Floyd Baldwin, on this video. All right, good day, Time Lord. Good to see you, Jim Farrell. Yes, indeed. Nobody working all good. Everybody walking and enjoying life till the paychecks stop coming in. Yes. Yes, and I hope that we can get stuff. You know, they've, they've extended the federal guidance. And it's just that. It's just that. It's guidance. Um, uh, but more and more states are having stay-at-home orders. And I hope that uh, I hope that it can be resolved soon. But I think that's going to be a long road for ahead of us. You know what I mean? Stephen Grafham, Grafham says Manchism syndrome is what we have here. Manchism. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Lawrence Grot says this is where I call BS on the hybrid on the hyped panic out there. So all these mints have to close down from producing product for us stackers because they're scared of spreading CV. But they can open to produce masks without fear of spreading CV. Either you're scared of spreading it or you're not. You can't have it both ways. That's actually a good point. Um, uh, and my guess is probably the Royal Mint is not shut down uh, for producing bullion products um, is my case. And more than likely, that will all change if somebody making masks turns out to become becomes infected. Then, that, then the whole operation does shut down or they implement very, very strict uh, production guidelines. Uh, for these, like people wearing almost hazmat suits and what have you. DW says, maybe if more U.S. companies did this, they may start a trend to bring manufacturing back to America, just hoping. Yeah, well, and they're starting to. We're seeing some manufacturing companies do it. I think on yesterday's presser, Trump highlighted many of those companies. Drew Peacock says, Bloomberg is owned by the Rothschilds. Actually, it's owned by Mike Bloomberg. So not believe anything they say, just keeping... Just keep buying and stacking gold. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Jared W3 says, maybe the U.S. Mint should follow suit instead of worrying about high premium ugly basketball commemoratives. Yeah. Well, um, it would be interesting to see. I would love to see the U.S. Mint uh, uh, do something for sure in this regard. I think it would be good for them. It would be good for the country. Barbara Carbone, very proactive with the Royal Mint. T-Y-U-R-M. There you go. Thumbs up to the Royal Mint. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sl slurp for you. There's a slurp for you, Barbara. Right here, right now. Here we go. All right. Very nice. All right. Let's see here. No woman in history has ever been as voluptuous and alluring and haunt as Barb and Terry and Pewdie and Pam being imagined to be. Yes, indeed. I agree. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. All lovely ladies we have here. It's part of Sal's gals. We're very happy to have them all. Great story, says Tomoko's Enterprise. Thank you, Tomoko. Dean, you're the man. This coffee is extra tasty, by the way. I feel like taking another hit of this coffee. Stephen Grafham, the bet will kill more than the virus. The debt will kill more than the virus. You know what? I... You know, I agree. It's uh, the more we do this stuff. Even if I agreed with the uh, with the with the measure, and not by the way, I don't agree with. Obviously, I would have done it completely differently. But even as such, we're hurting the dollar of doing this. Even if it's good intention, even if it helps save in, in, um, in the immediate term, we're hurting the dollar and we're creating more debt. And that debt is going to come and bite us one day for sure. I do agree with that. Um, I believe we're closer and closer to either reset of the dollar or um, some sort of massive, um, I don't know. That's what I think they're going to try to do. They probably have been talking about it for a while. We just don't know what's going on because they know that this thing can't go on forever. All right. Good. The slurps sound extra tasty. They're coming through. Very good. All right. Awesome, Barbara. I just want to savor every slurp before it before it goes uh goes crazy here yes honda yes silver honda says wash your hands we will do that 
He's got to take care of his residents, taking precautions from the virus. Well, keep safe, Silver Honda. Keep safe, my friend out there. Yes, you are right in the midst of it. Um, so, yes, uh, protect yourself because you can't help other people unless you're safe. And I just want you to be healthy, too. So thank you for everything you do, Silver Honda. You are providing a great service. All right. Uh, yes, and Stevens right again. Inflation is a tax and middle class pays. Uh, for sure, it's exactly what it is. It really is. Ji Dong Kim says, good job. Help the help this crisis, please. Do not leave milk spots. That's right, and I joked about milk spots in this. Just for good old fun. All right, let's see here. And Spazman 90, why would they buy high? Why would they why would anyone buy high? That's right. That's a good point. That's a good point. So Rahana, everybody be sure to wash your hands and sneeze into your elbow. That's right. Good sage advice for sure. All right. Uh no, this is a uh, Drake. This is a uh, black silk decaf. <sighs> Folders black silk key decaf. Uh, let's see here. All right. I am not sal because I'm not asking for any government help to support myself. That's very good. Bogus. Yes. I mean, I think that really should be voluntary. Like, you know, people should apply for it. It shouldn't just go out and be disseminated like they're doing. But, uh, Anyways, let's see here. Okay, Dale Vale Val says, okay, but don't ship silver during a global financial crisis. Right. I know. Okay. But these will stay within country, so I think that's a different, <laughs> different manner. But anyways. M. Nice says, why did they stop buying gold because of the massive premiums? Me too. Yeah, well, more than likely, if anybody's going to be able to avoid those kind of premiums, it's going to be a sovereign mint or sovereign sovereign mint. Drake says he might need to unsubscribe because it's decaf. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can pretend like it's caffeinated for you if you like. All right. All right. We need a debt cleansing. Massive bankruptcy is the only way to fix this. You know what? Actually, uh, Stephen, I, although I disagree with that uh, for small businesses, uh, like uh, you know, and like I talked about with you before, I think in terms of the federal government, that might be a, a, a way to go. Um, we're essentially already bankrupt anyway, but if they could somehow make that work out. Um, but I don't know who who would be uh, responsible for that bankruptcy. But essentially, we need to file that as a nation. Our government does to forgive that debt. It's crazy. But how would you do it? Who would believe it? Will it be a sleight of hand with some platinum coins or one platinum coin for $25 trillion? Can you imagine one platinum coin minted by the Secretary of the Treasury as outlined but from Tlaib um, Rashia's, whatever her name is, her legislation I talked about in the video, you mint one pl platinum coin, the bankrupt platinum coin, for $25 trillion that forgives all debt. You start from scratch, you reset the dollar, you reset it, you're good to go. You start on a fresh slate. Maybe you put gold as a, um, as a uh, back. You know, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we might try a scammer. I got this one, that one guy, dude, what's his name? He's been calling me. Bo Lively. We'll try to get Bo Lively back on, maybe. This JMFG, we can throw these away because he never answers from that line. Uh, we can try to call. We can try to call Bo Lively. Let's try to call Bo Lively quickly while we have a connection here. And uh, by the way, yeah, the connection strength seems to be good. So we might try this. Let's see what happens. And, and I want you guys to do me an experiment. Let me know if there's an echo or not. Let me know if there's an echo. All right. Uh, MMA matchup. Sammy Hagar versus Sammy Sosa. Going to go with Sammy Hagar. Sammy Sosa was good in his day, but Sammy Hagar can't drive 55. So he's going to win out every single time. Bo? Hello? Is this Bo Lively? 
Yes, it is. Bo, how you doing? I am calling you back. Uh, this is um, this is um, uh, Charles again. Remember me, Charles Schumer? Yes. Yes. So I was calling you to follow up with our little deal dealio we got going on here. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and uh, so there's no echo on the line. So this is great. So this is this is awesome. So. Uh, but before we get into what we're going to do about this loan, how do you how do you think we should handle the U.S. national debt? Should we mint one platinum coin, a nice shiny platinum coin for twenty five trillion dollars, and then pay it off with that, reset it? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I I, I think it's uh, got to come uh, from metal from another universe to co cover the expenses of the U.S. government right now. I, you know, you're probably right. We'd probably need to mine an asteroid or something for some some other strange yeah. metal that's not even... Whatever we have on Earth is not going to take care of it. Yeah, that's you know, right. I'm just hoping that uh, you and I live through this thing. Yeah. Uh, so, it's so, cr it's uh, craziness. Well, that brings me to my point because I want to uh, get a loan from you for $25 trillion. I want to round up because I have the extra. I want to go on a little party uh, with under 10 people, of course, in this party. But <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? So, so, so what realistically are we looking at here? What uh, does the, the company that you're talking about, do they have business? Here's how we fund, okay? And I, I don't want you to waste your time. I know uh, your time is probably more valuable than mine. Wow, okay? that's a first. Usually it's the other way around. Usually when I when I when I talk to folks, usually it's they're saying my time is more valuable than your time. But you're actually very kind, Bo. That's very okay. I, I appreciate so that. I'm re I'm realistic. So if you're talking numbers like you're talking, um, here's what we do: we fund we fund up to maybe a million. Maybe I, I've never seen a loan a million. I I funded. Nine hundred and seventy thousand dollar loan on on a uh, consolidation, right? A large, large, uh, probably the one of the largest uh, vegetable importers in the U.S. Uh, Mexico to U.S. Right, one of the main, probably the main distributor to the U.S. from Mexico. A cartel. Uh, uh, he could have been. I, I, I really don't know. He defaulted on the loan uh, two months later. So probably was the cartel. Could have been I'm a cartel. Glad I, to, glad I didn't have to foot that bill. But nevertheless, um, you know, again, I don't want to waste your time. I'm, I'm actually off work. I'm watching the news with my, with my uh, fiancé and... We're getting ready to leave the house, but uh, okay, what, all right. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah, that sounds fine. Um, uh, I don't know if you have the notes from last time we talked, but uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, have. Are you all you all going out? Are you are you you going to be? Hey, hey um, no, no. Look, uh, just to be honest with you, I have no notes because there's really been nothing to take a note about. Uh, on our with our conversation. Ooh, um, that hurts! The, wow. The, you know, I I apologize, but you've given me no information. Your ah. your company, your company. Uh, I d does your company have business bank statements? Oh yeah, uh, we got. You're gonna that, that you are going to use to be able to facilitate a loan, because that's how we loan. Oh yeah, yeah. And so, uh, what's the interest rate that you charge on the on the loans here? One one point five to one point one point four to one point five factor rate is what the going rate on funding is right now. Which uh, the, it translates the to largest, the largest what? loan I've seen in two weeks has been twelve thousand dollars. Right. But what's the percentage uh, interest uh, when you translate that out from the factor rate from the one point two? We're talking thirty five percent, we're talking forty percent, where are we at? Forty, forty, forty five percent. Ooh, Silver dollar. Smith was closed. He's he was gonna guess forty eight. I knew it was somewhere around the 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 forties, but I thought forty eight would be a stretch, but that was pretty close. So yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So when you and your uh, fiance go out, um you're gonna get takeout, right? You're not gonna go sit down at a restaurant, correct? 
Yeah, we're just leaving the house. That's all I was indicating. So, so you're going to take a walk in the, on the wild side, maybe? Yeah, yeah. We're just getting out of the house and you know, being, being safe. Okay, yeah, yeah be course. safe. And I hope you are, too. Yes, I'm staying at least 23 feet away from, uh, that's the new social uh, distance guidelines now that I've implemented after what I heard in the news today. The six foot uh, 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 social distancing, that's so yeah, 1930s, you know what I mean? Yep, that doesn't work, yeah. yeah you got to be 23 feet away because if somebody's, you know, look at it, look at it this way. If Mud Swat sneezes on me, he's got such a powerful voice. One of those droplets could hit me, and if he's got the COVID, then I'm in no good. That's no good. Right, right, right. So, well, um, yeah. So, so let's uh, we can reconvene in the morning. Okay, uh, let's do that. Let's reconvene. We'll do that, but we'll do it digitally. Yeah. Give, give me a give me a call sometime after eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a uh, conference at eleven. 11 with several individuals a teleconference uh, right so maybe uh maybe maybe 12 o'clock eastern time 12 oh yeah that sounds good but i just want to make sure this conference you're going to be at it's a teleconference right oh yeah absolutely yeah. not in person yeah. okay no more than 10 right. people together oh, okay yeah. yeah absolutely okay all right so will you I'm be safe bo me. stay lively stay lively stay healthy and all that jazz okay Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. He hung up on me. I can't believe he just hung up on me. Good grief. Yeah, yeah, make no mistake. He's a scammer. Now, he's a nice guy, but they're very slick in the way they do it. But these high interest rate loans, this is what they do. And uh, so, yeah. But, hey, he was honest with me. You know, I was able to pull that number out of him. And uh, so, anyways... Silver Steeler, his biggest loan is 975000 so you need to apply $25,641,000, or 25 times to get $25 trillion. I got time. There you go. Exactly. Exactly right, Silver Steeler. That's right. I should have done that. Imagine how many salivate rounds you can buy with that. By the way, the salivate metal rounds are sold out. And uh, I don't know. I may have to try to, I don't know if I can even get a hold of anybody at, Ma at Max to order some more. Uh, they, there may not be enough silver available to get them. Good grief. Crazy. Yes, indeed. He was an honest scammer. You know what I mean? Well, and technically, I don't know. He probably really isn't scamming me if he's telling me the truth about the interest rate and I agree to do it with that kind of interest rate, you know? I took a little digging, but he, he did it. Uh, all right. I would hag upon you. <laughs> all right, let's see back here. Uh Curtis Scott says, actually, Von Nothaus did not go to prison. This is on my Liberty Dollar video. The judge in this case waited over three years to sentence him while he walked after free after a jury of oaths had convicted him. No other fellow in the history of the U.S. has had a judge wait a longer period to sentence, and then the judge sentenced him to a few months of house arrest, you know, with the ankle monitor. That was the full extent of his Wow, interesting. He did not do a single day in jail in a sentence. you got to admire that judge. Very true. Thanks, Curtis Scott. Appreciate that. Very interesting. All right. I need a salivate metal round. I know. Now they're unavailable. Unobtainium. Crazy. I'll have to check into that. So I'll try to see if I can get them to restock up or remint them. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe they sold out. You know, the only reason why they sold out is because their premium is relatively low. And people were getting desperate. <laughs> they were getting desperate for any kind of silver. Even they was like, "All right, I'll get this. The only thing left, I'll go ahead and get this thing here." And you know, so I said, "He said it was noteworthy." That's right, Glenn D. All right, noteworthy. Tyler Whipple: Interest rates to zero. All governments, including the United States, printing money like you wouldn't believe, and gold and silver are going nowhere. I'm kind of starting to believe that we're missing something. Well, again, this is sort of a repeat of history to some extent um um and uh but yeah yeah i hear you it's a but they will go somewhere believe you me they will go somewhere uh stephen says is the 1200 dollars going to make everybody turn in others for not doing social distancing hey you never know you know there was some talk now you talk about scary stuff uh donald trump uh was asked this question about social distancing guidelines using gps on your phones 
In other words, the government will put an app on your phone and your, your phone will beep if you get within six foot of somebody. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. All right. Tricky guy. If lockdown continues and all the businesses are closed, what assets are best to unload now? Real estate, cars. Oh, man, that's a good question, man. If all Because if LCSs are closed and you can't, uh, uh, you know what I mean? And you can't sell gold and silver, what's left? Yeah, I guess so. Real estate and cars. Silver Stallion, don't fake cough people in CTO getting arrested for doing that. Well, yes, people are taking that pretty seriously. All right. Cyber Curtain Twitcher has a sell of eight metal round. He'll sell you a double spot price. All right. Sal bothered me one day, so I put it there. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's move on up the comment chain here. Part-time prepper says, good for them. I'm sure the mask will be effective, but uh, with not the greatest finish. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You heard me joke about the uh, that stuff. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Cod only gamer. Please give me. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll give it right to you. I'll hand it right over. And what's the cost? Well, if I'm going to give it to you, Cod only gamer, then the cost is no concern if I'm going to give it to you. Gonna, gonna give it, gonna, gonna give it, gonna give it, give it to you. Macro Max says they don't find or don't want to pray, pay massive premiums. Yes, well, I don't think they're going to be paying the premiums that you and I would. LCS in Cyber Curtains Twitcher's LCS is closed for 12 weeks. Wow. Crazy. Leaving only online options and VAT. Well, for, for at least for silver. Stephen C. is here. Hello, Stephen C. Good to see you. All right. Sterling Cannabis is here, by the way. Sterling Cannabis, hello. Actual headline, Nigerian astronaut stuck on a space station may need our help. Wow. Just send him a uh, $200,000 and then you will get his help. Name your channel. I, too, grew up in this Chris Shepard days of music. Okay, I'm trying to see what the tie-in to this is. I'm missing something on that one. Silver Steeler says, low oil prices do not uh, do a lot to some countries' purchases. Russia can't afford gold. Saudi Arabia can't sell a pipeline to, dry, to try and stay on budget. Weird time. Yes, indeed. There's also a half-finished skyscraper, too. That would be the tallest in the world. It's crazy. Stackaholic is here. Hello, Stackaholic. How you doing? Um, all right, Centuria Sylvia bought one more thing, and I'm done indefinitely. Well, Centuria, you're going to stay tuned because uh, I'm going to have another video coming that's sort of an homage to you. I think I shouted you out in it, but I did make another purchase today, and part of me is having some regrets on it, but another part of me is like, eh, you know what I mean? I just don't know what's going to happen. So I thought I'd make it. Probably spent too much, but, you know, it is what it is. I knew the risk going in, and we shall see. But good to see Centuria Sylvia. How you doing? Tricky guy, if I sell all my silver for $25 an ounce on eBay, what do I do with the fiat? Wipe your butt with it, Tricky. No, I don't know. Spend it on whatever. Buy it. I don't know what you would do. That's a good question. Stephen Graham says the economy is a drug addict, and the Federal Reserve is a drug addict. Uh... Government steals from the economy, just like the parasite sucks in the host. The free market is organic. Yes, it sure is. Joe Costello. Hello, good to see you. Just back from filling my 55-gallon water barrels in a mountain spring. Dude, that's awesome. Well prepared. Nicely done. Nicely done. Super Dad says use the fiat to buy a $25 bread load soon. There you go. All right. Gold or silver, Sal? Hawaii silver. Um, good question. I would say I'm... For myself, I'm more bullish on gold. I see gold as the ultimate safe haven. Um, so I lean more in that direction. But I did buy a tube of Silver Eagles too. Um, but I also feel like I've, for, compared to my gold holdings, I have enough silver holdings. Uh, so it's really up to the individual. Just know that silver is much more volatile. And I'll talk about that in today's video. Silver is more volatile than gold. And uh, understand that whatever the price you pay, it very well could go down. Um, even with these high premiums, they could go, they could disappear 
a very short time, the supplies can somehow make their way through. Jimmy Lachiari says, as someone stacking for a long time and for future wealth preservation, do you think it's smart to diversify and have gold, silver, and copper? Gold and silver, copper, no, 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 no. The only way to stack copper, the only way to stack copper is pre-82 cents. And I say pre-82 because you can find, and there are a lot of them out there, 1982 cents. But unless you can weigh them and know, there are some of them are uh, copper-coated zinc. That's the only copper to stack. Any other copper you buy as, a, as to complement a set or as a collectible that you just enjoy. And uh, so, but do not stack copper. That's an absolute no-no. And I'm shaking my finger there at that too. And I love copper. Don't get me wrong. I even have a video called Why I Love Copper. But that doesn't mean you should stack it uh, for wealth preservation. It's just way too, it's the premiums, or you talk about premiums high, even before all this stuff happened, the premiums were extremely high just for the production cost because copper is priced by the pound. That should give you that should give you something. What my personal GSR is, I couldn't really tell you. Um, I'm sure it's more than the, the average now of 116 or 112 to 1. All right. Yes, that's right. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says it's right. Silver has always been more volatile than gold, but especially more so now. Um, and it's volatile in the wrong direction, by the way, now, too. Yes, copper is a pretty metal. And uh, and there's nothing wrong with stacking it, by the way. All is one now. I will say this. Um, as long as you understand that you're probably not going to get what you got into it as far as wealth preservation. Um, but I've got a couple. I've got a stack of copper, too. Um, but I bought it just for fun. You know, I, I stack it just for fun. Um and uh, but yeah, it's gonna it's it would be quite a while to be able to really preserve your wealth with that. But uh, anyways, but yeah. Okay. Ozzy Alchemist, no, here we go. I'm seeing you, Ozzy. Ozzy, how you doing, my friend? If I do miss you, it's because I'm looking. If you say my name as it's spelled out, or to turn orange, I'll be able to see your your comment. I'm, it's if not, it's likely I may miss it. Thor Bradshaw is here. Hello. F2 Performance Lab typed it out, and I can see it there. You don't even have to put the at sign in front of it. It says, what do you think street value of an ounce of silver will be in two months? You know, it's hard to say, but at the rate things are going, um, unless in Europe things calm down and you start to see the supply chains go and we get shipments coming back in the United States from Europe for that kind of bullion product, um, I would say the street value of silver will go up. Uh, and up appreciably, even above more in spot. So in other words, premiums may stay the same as where they are at now, and uh, and um, and I think the price will go up. I think spot price will go up too. The paper price will go up, uh, even though the premiums may be about the same percentage as where they are now. Um, I do think they will go up. So I'm I'm bullish on it in two months from now. That's a short answer. The long answer I just gave was a short answer. So you had to put through the long answer in order for you to get the short answer. Christopher Zur says, does anyone know the date the Royal Canadian Mint is supposed to go back into production? Um, Man, refer back to my earlier video because uh, I think some dates were given there, but I forgot what they were. JS says, silver up slightly, premium slightly down. Random year ASCs for April 22nd shipment to stock of Atmex. And 90% silver premiums coming down. I think by April 22nd, when product gets in stock, the prices should be even cheaper. That's one school of thought. So there you go. That's a little different opinion than what I have, but there you go. There's another answer that might, uh, could happen. In some ways, I hope it does. But anyways. Uh, Tino Gomez says, how about making a few coins too? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. That'd be nice. Tricky guy says, "How can copper be useful if face HGF with no, with no new houses being built or electronics manufactured? If no electricity, copper is worthless. If 33% unemployment, what becomes street useful?" Good question, tricky guy. And in this SH in an SHTF scenario, I believe that actually pre 82 or pre 83 cents that are copper will be useful. That's constitutional copper right there. I think that will be useful first. Um, and any any other kind of... Um, and I think there might be a role for copper bullion. 
copper rounds and stuff like that, though minimal. But I think it's going to be constitutional silver, silver eagles, recognized generic silver, and uh, and all that stuff. Yeah, Joe, gold did close down a little bit today, and I actually made a purchase on its way down. Didn't get it at the bottom, but uh, I didn't make a purchase. It still hurt. All right. Days of Confused Stacker, how many people in here are working and how many are not working or are, are not working from home? Yeah, that's a good question. Of those people, press the number one. If you're still working, no change in your job. Press the number one. If you're still working and no change in your job, uh, press the number two. If you're working from home, press the number two. If you're working from home, press the number three. If you are laid off um, and not working, let's get a, a pulse, an idea of what people are doing. This is, a lot of us are still working here, but I tell you what, my job is under threat. There's no question. My job is completely under threat. All right. So two is uh, working from home, but still being employed. Herb is too. Barbara is working from home. Okay. Telecommuting. I'm teleslurping right now. Terry 79 is two and three. All right. Maple Stacker, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry, Maple Stacker. And Vogus, I'm sorry for you too, my friend. Prayers for you guys. Michael Kramer and Jonathan Reese, apologize for you guys. James, my prayers and thoughts are with you all. 50 Smoke. El Porno is here. Good to see El Porno. Welcome, Robin Hood. All right. Good to see you. Okay. A gold is going to poopy, says Spontaneous News. I don't, wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, you know, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see here. All right. My weed under attack. Hawaii silver. I farm. The work never stops. I've got, I know somebody who's a farmer too. Yes, indeed. Okay. Get a job, Sal. All right. We get all, took off today and yesterday. Okay. Let's see here. Cosmic Karma Koala. Uh, hug them kidders for me. Yes, indeed. Will do, uh, Cosmic. Appreciate that. Every day is a Saturday for me, says Joe. Must be retired. That's cool. All right. I tell you what, it makes me nervous going to work, too. Half of our workforce is uh, either working for a home or, or furloughed. John Knapp makes me wonder if he's doing this to help... Uh, the people, or if he's doing it for his own gain, this will determine what kind of president he is. Let the banksters die or keep enslaving us to them. Yes, we'll see how it plays out. It does make me nervous, too, for sure. I am, I'm with you. Okay. All right, where are we at? Bob A. says, um, I buy guardhouse tubes. They make ASC and generic round tubes. The tops do not come off as easy when a tube is dropped or knocked over. They're easier to pull from a box when the tubes are stacked side by side. Very good. All right. It's good to know. Although I tell you, these American Eagle tubes are pretty good. They're pretty tight lids on them. That's what she said. Okay. Let's see here. Tricky guy. Immoral question. What does it make sense to max out credit cards and buy metal and then go bankrupt and say metal was sold via unknown buyers on Craig's? Um... Well, it's probably right before the system collapses if you want to do that, tricky guy. Kendall Kidd is here. Good to see you. Yep, and always good to see El Porno and Ozzy. Okay, Jamie Foxx works with people that refuse to practice social distance. Very annoying. Yes, that is not good. Actually, <clears throat> this has become serious enough that it's probably worth talking to your supervisor about anon an anonymously. Anonymously. Karis Ravenhill, it's a Russian roost. Just wait till the date they will say, yet we change our mind. Yeah, that's right. Exactly, very well could be. Let's slurp in her honor. Ah, very good, okay. Eric, I work for an engineering firm with 163 employees across eight different states from Maine to Florida. All are working from home except me and three others. Wow, on-site construction, wow. And you're probably safe being out there as long as you keep that distance and are not downwind from somebody who farts the COVID virus. But uh, so hang in there. All right. 
Yes, indeed. Okay. Chris Mooley has a little happy face with sunglasses. He wears his sunglasses at night so he can see. Hey, Sal, says Chuck and Plata. Silver was on sale video I posted just today. Silver was on sale. Eli says, indeed it was. I can't believe the high increase on junk silver. Yes, I mean, some are saying that it's dipping back a little bit. On those two halves, I got a fairly decent deal on them. All right. At least relatively. Pickle, I'm commenting now because Tricky Guy hasn't commented yet. Where art thou, Tricky Guy? Man, the Tricky Guy is. And where's Donald in New Mexico? Where's Donald in New Mexico? Donna, donde esta? Hola, Salivate. Hello, hola, Silverback Stacker. Como esta, senor? He is the man. He is the man. All right. Silver Steeler, still listening? Whip made a mean tray of baked mac and cheese. Dude, I'm so jealous. I'm coming over to Indiana right now. I need to have me some mac and cheese. I'm willing to cross state lines for it. That sounds so delicious. I can almost smell it from here. Good grief. Oh, my goodness gracious. That sounds so yummy. Now I'm hungry, and I already ate supper, and I'm hungry again. Belang P is here. Hello, sir. Good to see you. You guys, Belang P has been knocking it out of the ballpark with his videos lately. Check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He provides this as a service. He is uh, well knowledge in the field of uh, statistics and uh, and um, and with gold and and the and the whole system. So check him out. He's got really insightful videos for sure. Uh, mi español es muy bien. And let me try to butcher that. Ta español es muy bien. All right. Muchas gracias, señor. Vamos a la estación de ferrocarril con las limpias para brisas. I don't want to your boots and your money. All right. Silver banks. Sell silver still on sale. I got ounces all day long for $100 a piece. Hit me up. Uh, touche. Touche. Yes, indeed. And toupee. I could use a toupee with my touche. Information distribution says, hello, Sal. I've been keeping my eye on high premiums this week with so many out-of-stock items. Any low gold premium items you should suggest to look for? I've only discovered third-ounce gold coins this week. They seem to have a few low demand on as an unusual size. Yes, I think that. And also, you want to look for dos y cinco medio, pes dos y medio pes pesos and... Um, and dos pesos, those are the tiniest fractional Mexican gold. Sometimes you can find a good, good uh, premiums on. And uh, maybe, and also the Corona. <laughs> yeah, I kid you not, there is a Corona coin. Uh, and dang, I have to try to find this. Let me see if I can find it here. Because I might post a video on this. It's the Corona coin. Bear with me here. I'm going to have to pull this up. Mm, no. I'll try to find it. If I find it and it works out, I'll do a video on it. All right, very good. Let's see here. Moving on up here. I only get alert me notice. All right. Well, yeah, just remember, I always post videos every day and a live stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern time. All right, very good. Rocky Mountain Bear. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, yay, I caught a live. How you doing? We're doing good, Terrell. Terrell is doing. I hope you're staying safe out there. You want to see, you want to see a video where there's not a good practice of social distancing, but a very lovely voice and a very professional music video. Check out Terrell's channel. It will soothe your soul. It will soothe your soul. Check out Terrell. She's in here right now. Hope you're staying safe too. Be safe, indeed. But she's got a beautiful voice and she's an awesome person. Check out Terrell on YouTube. And she has interest in precious metals, too. Her channel is not about precious metals, but she has an interest in it. Because I can't think of any other reason why she'd come to a, a channel like mine for my craziness. Uh, so we appreciate Terrell. Yes, indeed. And her husband, her hubby, Bruce, plays a good guitar. And Terrell plays guitar, too. And she does a good job at uh, singing some Judas Priest as well, too. She did a Judas Priest song for me, which is awesome, because she knows I'm into metal. Gold Addict says Scottsdale Mint has normal premiums on silver, but their gold bars have been sold out for a while. Nobody wants paper silver. That is why the paper price is down. There's a run on physical gold and silver. It's going to get way worse. I think it will too. And that's why I made a purchase I did today. 
Blaine P says, I think we can be confident that the dollar will lose purchasing power more quickly than silver. It's been true since the Fed was created. That's actually a very good point. And that is essentially what you just said there is kind of what my whole view on silver is. Silver is not going to make you money. Silver is not there to make you rich. Um, I believe silver is just there to preserve its uh, purchasing power um, or its its wealth. As as with, with calculated for inflation during the long term, it has performed at least to the level of inflation. If you look at a chart that goes back 100 years, you will see that. And I've got confirmation. I believe Blaine P. And gold has done even better. And uh, so, yeah, I'm with you. Thank you, Blaine P. And that's the thing. About he has such a concise way of saying things. He says things so much better than I ever could. So, yes, indeed. Thank you for that. Hello, Gold Chick, Vibic Fell. Good to see you. Welcome. And Joe, we love your guitar. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm not I'm not nearly as good a guitar player as Bruce is or even Terrell. So I'm just messing around with it. But yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Let's see here. Ria Dia one says, sorry, buddy, I'm a stack or two. I like your channel and sub. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. I, I had to um, s politely chastise Ria Dia, but thank you. I appreciate that. All right, very good. Silver Eye says, premiums are so crazy. I stopped looking at online dealers until the U.S. Mint and RCM produce more bullion. This is not going to change. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a while before we see these premiums come back together. Just There's just so much supply chain disruptions right now. It really is. The Sentinel, yeah, it's a great album. Yes, indeed. Priest, awesome. All right. Hey, Cyber Curtain Twitcher, have a good night, my friend. I appreciate you, sir. Yes, indeed. Sleep well. Thank you so much for being here, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Uh, let's see. All right, so Stephen says, what if I have social distancing and Gaza? And Gazadaya, and I'm having typos. Oh man, good grief! Yeah, that's a whole nother problem there. I don't know. Anxiety, anxiety. That's what it is. Anxiety. I see it there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Then you've got some issues there. All right, I have made typos even without social distancing. I'm a horrible typist. Hold till death is what I think. Sal, be blessed and be safe. There you go. Indeed. Let's get that comment posted. And let's see what we've got coming in the pike. Should we call another scammer? Let's try to call in the request line. Let's call Mike Evans from Fundy Solutions, the scammer. I mean, what else does he have to do? By the way, my scammer calls have gone down dramatically because those Indian, the credit card scammers call from Indian, and they're really tight. They're in very tight quarters with each other. So they're... Now I'm getting health care insurance scammers call. It's mailbox of five one six. Oh come four, on. Five, one. Let's no, right, we've got that. Let's call Randy again. Randy was a pretty nice guy. Let's see if we get Randy on the phone. Talk to me, scammers. Okay, greetings. Greetings to Belang P. Greetings to you, sir. We're calling Randy. Forget what companies. And we got Kara, too, from uh, AP Management. Another loan business. Oh, BizCap Corp. We got a couple numbers we can try. Ash Ashley, the loan scammer we've got. So we'll just start rolling through these numbers and see if we get somebody in the loan. What else, what else, what else do they have to do? Uh, we could do Beva some butthead. <laughs> hello? Yes, hello. How you doing? Um. Is this, um, let me see, really find the name is trying to find a number. Who is this? I'm sorry. Uh, is it Rami? Robbie, uh, Ra Randy, Randy, yeah. From what uh, what company are you with, Randy? Uh, Rami over at uh, Standard Financing. At Rami Standard, that's right, that's it. I, I found it just as you said, it's Standard Financing. I need some Standard uh -huh. Financing for my business, and I hope you can help me out with it, um, if that's possible. Uh, yeah, how much are you looking for? Um, if I could eke out potentially, I would say about $125,000 for this amazing business opportunity I have going is to revive Beavis and Butthead to the uh, big screen. Oh, wow. Have you ever heard of Beavis, Beavis and Butthead? Butthead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we might want to be on big screen again. <laughs> Shut up, Bob. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
it, it's, it's especially apropos these days because people are looking for toilet paper. And, and, and honestly, I do have one financial backer. It's Charmin, the, the toilet paper company. But I need a little extra funding for the, uh, for the silver portion of the, uh, of the movie. So this is where okay. you come in. Okay. Um, how, how, how much are you guys doing in, uh, in gross revenue right now, monthly? We're we're yanking in probably about about eighty nine thousand dollars per month, and we need okay. We, and we need silver for the silver screen that this is going to be showed upon. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, I think we, I think we can help you out with that. So um, here's what I recommend. I'm going to send you an email. Can you actually uh, speak up a little bit? Business. You're really muffled uh, in the voice thing here. So we want to try to get you out and you know so we can hear you yeah uh, can you hear me much now? better much better now can you sing me a terrell song the the hit uh, artist terrell, terrell who's available on spotify and uh apple music terrell you never heard of her uh no i don't think so terrell is going to do the soundtrack to the movie you you're going to hear that oh, name really? very very soon i'm sure she's going to be in big lights you know okay Terrell, 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 yeah, Terrell. She's your girl, Terrell. That's right. Okay. All right. So um, I'm gonna send you an email. What's the best email? Uh, you can send me an email at uh, at beavisbutthead2020 at compuserve.net. I'm gonna use that because I had to set a separate email address. I've gotten so many inquiries about this movie. Um, uh, that uh, I just needed to set something aside, so I had to create this special email address because we want to try to release the movie this year. I know it's a very – we've already got most of the script written. We've got with Mike Judge on it. He's going to help us out with it. Uh, I'm paying him oh, out of uh, my own well, pocket. Oh, you know, wow. Mike, All right, so uh, one more time. That was uh, Beavis Butthead. Uh, Beavis Butthead 2020, 2020 at CompuServe.net, yeah. At – what was that? CompuServe.net. We have funding for everything but the silver screen. We need silver. We need okay. four nines com, fine pure com. silver to coat the screens with. Yeah. Can, can you spell out the email, please? Uh, yeah. Beavis, B-E-A-V-I-S, uh -huh. butthead, B-U-T-T-H-E-A-D, mm -hmm. 2020 at CompuServe.net. Yep. That's an up-and-coming ISP. Yeah. CompuServe.net. Yeah, CompuServe. -E dot net. You got it, sir. You got it. All right, perfect. perfect. It's going to be coming from Rami at Standard Financing. So just uh, fill out the application to take you less than two minutes, and then send it over with the uh, last three months' bank statements. Can you and, repeat uh, what you said? just said, but put the phone really close to your mouth. Repeat all that, but put the phone really close uh, to your so mouth. So, yeah, it just, it just takes a... Uh, um, one page application. It's going to take you less than two minutes. Send okay, that over great. with your last three months bank statement and a month to date transaction report. Okay, and now I'll, now do me a favor. Like for you. That sounds yep. good. Now can you do me another favor? Put the phone like right against your neck or somewhere down where it's really muffled. I want to hear what that sounds like. Can you do that? Right here. Yeah, and that's it's still clear, but it's just not muffled. I want to hear what it sounds like muffled. Like put it up against your voice box. I don't have a voice box. I have your larynx. Larynx. I'm sorry, your larynx. My larynx. Your larynx. The larynx okay. is, what, is what's called the voice box. The larynx. Uh huh. Now try to talk. Oh, I thought you meant like one of those, uh, one of those things that the, the, the smokers have. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, not one of those. Those are, uh, what are those things called? Don't smoke, by the way, folks. That's one thing we don't want to smoke. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your larynx is, is, everybody has one if they can speak. It's called a larynx. Mm -hmm. And uh, all right, yeah. So I just sent that email over. Uh, okay, great. Sounds good. Back, all right, sounds good, man. I appreciate it very much. This is great. I'm looking forward to it. You're going to be able to provide silver to coat the silver screens and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes. All right, thanks. I appreciate it, Rami. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. All right. Very good. All right. I feel like we're. I felt. I felt like we had a connection there with him. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Moving on. Okay, so we got some other comments we'll take a look at. We might try to call more scammers in due course if we have a little bit of time here. Uh, boy, a lot of people are interested in this stuff. It's crazy what's going on here. All right, where are we at? Um, oh, man, you know, it'd, be, it'd be nice. You know, you know, it would be cool if I could call Terrell. 
and then I could play my guitar and she could sing to it. That'd be so cool, man. We could have a lot of fun with that. That would be that would be a hit. Since I got a good connection, it's amazing. This connection's great now. I need to watch my kilobytes per second here, and it's doing pretty good. But anyways, oh man, shoot. Uh, I'd have to probably whip my acoustic guitar out though for her to do it. And, uh, but uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Terrell, if you're ever interested in that, shoot me an email at salivantmetal at gmail.com. We could have a blast with that. That'd be that'd be hilarious. We could call a scammer and you could you could sing as I as I uh you could serenade the scammer if I if I upset them, your soothing voice could help calm them down. That'd be that'd be, that'd be great. Donald New Mexico is here. Donald New Mexico is here, and Silver Wolverine is here, and Coins A to Z is here. Good to see all you guys. Appreciate you all being here. This is wonderful. Let's get back down here to Electric Avenue. Uh, where are we at? Okay. Boy, a lot of comments since I started this live stream even on this son of a biscuit. All right, here we go. Sue Cash says, so are you, are they going to cut our legs out from underneath of us? The silver price to shoot to the moon? No. I think if they shoot to the moon, you'll see the premiums narrow and squeeze on them. Uh, if the paper price goes to the moon... Uh, more than likely it'll be less affordable to a lot of people, but more people will want to buy. But don't get that supply going somewhere or somehow. I'm pretty sure they would. Meteor Man is here. We are flattening the spread. That's right. Uh, my former smoker. No, I've actually never tried a cigarette. I've, I've tried a cigarette, but I've, I've never inhaled a cigarette. At least on purpose, I've never. I, I didn't inhale. I promise I didn't inhale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I need to go back to work for the American people. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Okay. Where are we at? Uh, Randy Herbrichmeyer says, I scored 21 ounces at 17 bucks an ounce. That was two weeks ago. Haven't received it yet. Back order. I picked up a roll of Walkers for 147 Not great, but not bad. Well, I hope we get your order soon. I know in this day and age, it does make you a little bit nervous placing these orders with such far-reaching uh, delivery dates for sure. Uh, that, yeah, we could have 100,000 to 200,000 deaths in the next three weeks based off some models they have. I really hope we don't get that. Boy, that would not be good. That's based off of modeling from the doctor. Um, but I really hope that doesn't happen. It's already, we're at 9-11 numbers right now, which is not very good. Um, you know, it, uh, any death from any, even the flu, you know, I hate to hear of these deaths. You know, it's, it's, I hate it when people get sick. All right. Eddie's Little Stack says, Silver, short squeeze. Greetings, Sal. Well, at the end, you got to look at your silver, finish your sentence. It's five minutes late in the live stream. Got to go. As Sal, where you, uh, you hear the news on Nancy Pelosi, your thoughts? No. Silver Wolverine, fill me in. What's going on with Nancy Pelosi? Hope she doesn't have the COVID. What's the deal with Nancy Pelosi? Eddie, I don't know. Eddie can't, apparently he can't comment on here, so he's not going to be able to tell me, but, uh, Anybody know what's going on with Nancy Pelosi? I hope she's okay. All right. Mark B. says, hi, Sal. All right. All right. Rhea Dia. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for popping in, Rhea Dia. And I hope you didn't think, I hope my uh, comment on your video wasn't come across too harsh, but it is something just to let you be aware of. But thank you. Some people uh, do, um, they purposely do that. I, I think your intention was good, though. But you hang around long enough, I'll shout you out. But thank you for being here, Rhea Dia. Uh, I did respond to your comment, but thanks for popping in. I appreciate you. All right. No, we want to ignore T, Terry. Uh, what did Terry, did Terry say something to me? She's under lockdown and losing it. I'm sorry, Terry. You have to be under lockdown. Hang in there. Hang in there. She gave the CV Pelosi disease. Uh, Barbara didn't hear anything about Pelosi either. Okay. I well, hope she's okay. Hope she's okay. All right. Uh, Centurius says that he's confined, confused. I'm confused too. I'm a little confused too. I think I must have missed something in the chat or something. Uh, let's see here. Maybe a little tipsy. There you go, Terrell. Maybe she's, <laughs> that's funny. Maybe she's a little tipsy. <laughs> Ozzy Alchemist, check out the infection rate. USA still climbing. Other countries with the strict guidelines starting to flatten out. Australia, Sweden, and South Korea. Her Pelosi wants to investigate when Trump first learned about the COVID. More investigations. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. 
They'll investigate till the day he dies, probably. It's crazy. Centurion will then just inhale whatever. What could go wrong? There you go. What could go wrong exactly? All right. A little bit of glue here too, right? Might as well. All right, let's see. Okay. Um, Jay Silver says, stop buying. These premiums are ridiculous. A Canadian site is selling one ounce platinum bars for close to $400 Canadian over spot. Insane. They're selling silver uh, 10 ounce bars for almost $10 Canadian over spot for generic. And you see, the thing is, is yes, um, at one school of thought is to not buy for these high premiums. And I agree, you know, if you don't feel comfortable paying them, then don't. The other school of thought is, is we may be seeing silver go a lot higher because of, of where we're going in this country. We are, um, you know, we're going to hit a recession. There's no question. We're going to, we're going to hit, hit a uh, recession for sure. And, um, and so I don't know, I don't know what to what what it's going to be but um um more than likely gold and silver are going to go up Stephen ask a good question do you think trump will cancel the election war powers act i'm hoping by then we won't have to worry about it i'm hoping by then all this will be over um if this was if this let me put it to you this way if this uh virus hit us uh in october like it's hitting us now then it would be a constitutional crisis. I don't know what we would do. Guido Stacken is here. Hello, Guido. Guido Stacken, by the way, a great channel. Check out Guido Stacken. A good guy, great personality. And do, do you still do auctions, Guido Stacken? Because uh, um, I want to shout him out if he does auctions too. Tonight is Stormy's auctions, but Guido has done them on Mondays, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I've been to a couple, but Guido Stacken, check him out. Uh, so I'm not sure if he does auctions or not, but check out Guido Stacken for sure. And uh, Winning Image Photography, got any of that mac and cheese left for me? And Grog the Devourer is here. Hello, Grog the Devourer. Good to see you. Good to see Grog. And I've got a little bit of coffee left here to slurp. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Um, oh, yes, Terrell. Um it's salivatemetal at gmail.com. It's actually should be seen right here on the bottom of your screen right now. The email, PayPal, salivatemetal at gmail.com. So that's the same thing. You, it's email, it's uh, the PayPal address, but it's also my email too. So you can just email me there. Yes, indeed. That'd be cool. All right, very good. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. What's up? Good to see you. I'm doing great, Grog. How you doing? It's so good to see you. Hope you're hanging in there through this COVID stuff. You guys all be safe. All of y'all be safe out there. Robert Waterman says, it's here and there. Some dealers have silver. Some have it at high premiums and some are sold out. But the main problem arising that I've been hearing, there's no dealers in my state open due to lockdown. Some don't do e-business. The summer line coin shows is difficult for some smaller dealers. But then again, the bigger dealers are gouging on premiums just to make up for the drop in price from when they bought it. The verge of being criminal. Well, I talked about that. I think he missed the whole slew of videos about that. But I digress. I don't want to rebeat that dead horse. Practice to try to not take advantage of desperate people. Well, that's true. No one should um, take advantage. But I don't think the vast majority of these dealers are. And um, a lot of these are people, stackers like us, too. But anyways, okay, very good. Okay, so did we get the answer from Grog, from Guido, if he's doing his auctions? Yeah, he's still doing the auctions. Okay, very good. 43 Druid is here. We're going into global depression based off the U.S. dollar collapse and oil production collapse. You know, I fear something like that. I hope that doesn't happen. I'm not a, um, I'm not a pessimist. I'm not a doom and gloomer, but uh, it does make me nervous, all this money printing we're doing. Winning image photography is making me hungry again. Homemade and still hot. Dang it, I wish I was in Indiana right now. That'd be cool, man. It would be cool to eat some hot macaroni and cheese. Spectacular. All right, thank you so much. He says, it's a crazy world we're living in right now. I pray for all of you, my PM loving friends. Thank you, sir. By the way, I forgot to con I was late for work this morning. Well, I wasn't late, but I was running a little behind i did watch your video speg on the on the um on the uh, basketball coin commemorative coins spectacular just posted a great video on the on the basketball commemoratives i just didn't get a chance to uh to comment but i do agree with you on those coins um 
I'm even I'm gonna have to collect them because I'm I'm collecting all of the commemoratives. But uh, but anyways, but I digress. All right, very good. Let's see here. Okay, Randy Herbertsmeyer. It's a matter of time, Sal. Relax. The gold and silver suppliers are running out. God's money. Supplies are running out. God's money. Very good. Thank you. Brave New Stacker says, guys, what if the Comex market is dead? It's not the too distant future and the spot price we all are glued to. In fact, irrelevant. And real market price is what dealers are selling them for. And I've heard some people talk about it. I've seen some titles of videos I haven't seen that make that assumption. I guess I'd have to watch and see and do some research on that to see. We'll find out. Uh, Okay, yes, that's right. Uh, Silver Backstacker is here, and he's saying the White House is recommending 30 more days of staying in our hidey holes. That's right, hidey holes. Silver Backstacker, just to be safe. Yes, indeed. Uh, and it's going to be tough. You know, it's tough. You know, there's something about being home. If you can get a chance to exercise, get out and about. In fact, I forgot I didn't get a chance to exercise today. I need to do some push-ups. By the way, Silver Backstacker, you've inspired me, sir. Since you're here... You give me the number of push-ups to do. Be gentle, but I need to do too, some push-ups, and you're the man to put me to work. So the back stacker, tell me how many push-ups to do, and I will do them at your discretion. Here we go. Here we go. I'm getting warmed up. I'm stretching for the push-ups. Here we go. Ah. Uh. I'm getting ready. Just waiting for that 30 seconds it takes for the time I speak, for the time you need to get the message. And then I'll get the number and I'll do it. No mass push-ups. I'm not gonna turn the camera on. I'm waiting for Silver Backstacker to give me the number. Please be gentle. I'm a weakling. 16. All right, thanks, Silver Backstacker. 16. I can live with that. Here we go. Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, just, I like to slightly overachieve. Not overdo the overachievement, but just, just enough to make you feel only semi-impressed with it, with the, with the thing there. So, yeah. And there's 20 for you. And I think uh, Thor said 20. So in honor of Thor, we did that. All right. Very good. And I still do need to exercise. I didn't do my daily exercises. I'm hitting myself work. Okay. Bust them out. We busted them out. There we did. All right. All right. Where are we at? Okay. Michael Martin says, I've stopped for a while, but I will pounce if I see any kind of good deal. Very good. And that is the key. If you can find them and they, are, they can be out there. Then you take advantage. Very good. Stackaholic. Good video as always, Sal. Personally, I'm stacking cash and playing the wait and see game. I believe there are many twists and turns headed our way before a clear path reveals itself. True that. Yep, I agree. Thanks, Stackaholic, my friend. Fails to follow instructions. Oh, what did I what did I miss? You read it upside down. It was supposed to be 91. Dang it. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa. 91 push-ups out for Harambe. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Silverback stacker. I should have had my monitor upside down and done 91. Oh, my goodness. I would be killed. Man, crazy, crazy. Uh, is your pecs getting big? Actually, not really. Uh, they're a little bit. They're defined, but they're not too, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not a hardcore workout guy. I just try to get, get the blood flowing. But they're a little bit defined. I mean, I have, if I, I'll put it to you this way, Terry. If I squeeze my pecs together, I have a little bit of cleavage, just a very slightly. Let me see. What could I put in that cleavage? I could probably put a quarter in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't stick, but, you know, you get the idea. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Tomoko's Enterprise. The greed seems to start at the top and runs downhill. There's no reason all this is going on. If people want to return to normal spending habits, we wouldn't have any of this grief to deal with. Crazy. Yes. I know. I tell you, it's crazy. Let's see. Crazy times. Tony L. says, I disagree with you on silver outperforming gold. Gold would become unobtainable and silver will be picked up by the masses. Um, 
betting uh, betting the dollar does not survive the expansion of currency of circulated friends in Europe do not want dollars rather have euros or pounds and dollars are not looking for expansion of debt favorably thinking we are reaching a point where they people may need dollars except for debt denominated in dollars people are liking that anyways the basic point of this comment is he thinks that silver will outperform gold and I don't think it will I think that um, basically it will follow gold at this point. I'm not quite as bullish on silver in that regard, whereas in the past it has outperformed gold uh, when you see these spikes up. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I like to see it, that ratio narrow down tremendously, but I just don't see it happening. Uh, let's see, $2.2 trillion is a lot of money. Wrong. It's not money, it's fiat. Well, that's true. That's right. Uh, touche on that. There's a difference between money and currency. Blue Diamond Gem says, My dealer is selling me maples and generic for $16, $18 per ounce. He's only selling to a few people, just as regulars, because he wants to keep some inventory. He says that absolutely nobody is selling any silver at all. Luckily, he got a large shipment. Asashi Silver the other day. Very cool. Well, that's nice that he is, he is uh, giving you some deals for sure. I think there's something to be said for your loyal customers for sure. And I've gotten some deals like that too. Joe, Joe says, Joe Costello, kudos to all chat hosts. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. Terry says, Sal is always wrong. Well, man, that means that Terry believes that silver is going to outperform gold too. You heard it here first, folks. Terry has admitted it uh, that, uh, that uh, she thinks that silver is going to outperform gold. What is your friend going to say, Terry? What will he say to that? That's blasphemy, Terry. Oh, my goodness gracious. Spectacular. Sal's almost at 30,000 subs. Actually, nah, I got a ways to go for that one. And you know what, Spag? Um, really, when you think about it, it's, it's more about the views, and you are kicking my reader end in that department. And why? Because I think you're more articulate and uh, more entertaining than I am. Uh, you got a great channel, my friend, and it's a younger channel than mine, and you're just kicking butt, so I'm, it's awesome. So anyways, very good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see, 143 Druid, your interview with Nebraska Bullion Dealer was awesome. His key statement was in regards to economy pushing recent silver purchases back in the market with prices lower than now. Um, uh, actually, he wasn't a dealer. He's a broker. Um and uh, it's basically, he's saying that if people are desperate, they're going to, to, to push that we are going to be the control of the market. He's not saying that necessarily the prices will be lower. It's that if there's demand for silver, then we're going to be putting in there. And it could have, it could dilute the market if enough people sell. But my guess is it's probably not going to be enough to make a, make a difference. But we'll see here. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, let's get into Chiefly Chieftain says, Sal, there's some deals when the uh, when the price of silver initially dropped. I bought some, but now I wish I had bought more. I'm waiting for the price of gold to come down too. Yes, indeed. The the paper price did come down. We saw a little bit of savings with the purchase price, but there's still high premiums there. I'm like you. My tube of silver eagles I bought right when those premiums started shooting up a little bit. Hey, thank you, Dove Season. Good to see you. Uh, oh, Silver Stanger, thank you, but I, I appreciate that. I, I don't, uh, I don't see myself really a godfather of anything, but thank you, my friend. You're awesome. Speg knows a guy that always helps. Let's see, your views is most important. You're right. Let's be real. Your radio friendly voice will always destroy. No, but we're well, spectacular. We're each different in our own way, but you've got a great channel and you've got a great personality and it shines through. There's something attractive about your voice. Many people think my voice is annoying, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the viewers, and I think it's good to support each other. But yes, indeed. Ginger, maybe the song I speak, Astronomy First. Never heard of it, but thanks, Jim Short. Uh, let's see here. It's all right, but can he slap a bass? Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Philip Bell says, I don't see premiums coming down. Comex is getting exposed. Public will soon wake up. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, we're seeing that separation. I'll tell you what. Super Dad says, when I started to give myself rules, buy low, so high, only use disposable income, low to me, anything under $20, and I still can find twenty under 20 occasionally. That's true. Problem is I still have an order out there from March 11th, 
and uh, can't seem to get a response from SD Boolean on an estimate on when I'll receive the silver already paid for. So until the shipping times are reasonable, I'm out from online dealers regardless of price. I've been one to bend over for anyone, and I sure as hell won't spread my cheeks for them. I understand. I would keep asking them um, because I would think by now they should start seeing it. But some of these places are seeing 15 to 30 days out. So I just say be patient a little bit because they're probably trying their best to source for silver. But if all else fails, you can always get your money back, which I know you'd hate to do if you bought it at a good price. Aaron Cross thought you were doing an auction. Oh, man. <laughs> no, the auctions are not my thing. The auction, the auction thing is not my bag. I'm not good at that. Uh, oh, thanks, information distribution. I don't, I don't really see myself as delivering myself professionally. I'm, I feel like I step over myself sometimes. I'm, I stutter. You know, I'm, um, I joke around probably inappropriately. So, but anyways, but thank you. I appreciate you being here and putting up with me. Ozzy Alchemist says, I think silver could go, never go to zero. But it can. ETF silver to zero. What's stopping it? Nothing as long as these fake contracts exist and the price in theory can be manipulated down to zero. Banks with the Fed suck every cent out of the fake market. And you know what? You make a good point, Ozzy, because even though silver won't go to zero, and even likely ETFs probably won't go to zero, but when they go below what the physical value of silver is, the silver price is the silver uh, physical price is not going to follow, and that's what's happening here. Um, and so, because silver will not be undervalued um, in and of itself, and and I think that's part of what's going on. The other part of the reason why the premiums are so high is because of the short supply of product. Robin Philly, silver might bump up in 2011. Prices will be get closer to Trump's second term. I'm lucky to have caught both over 50 ounce spells. Both of them happened when Republicans were in second terms, Reagan and Bush. I sell some at 48, got my investment back. Now I have free silver. If you have money, at least 20%, it should be in silver. More if you, uh, not the skittish type. It's dirt cheap now, but like you said, Sal, you can't buy it cheap at spot anywhere. They're still going, getting 20, 25 times face and 25 for eagles. Rounds are less, but rounds, constitution or nothing, still liking those Kruger rounds out. All right. Keep up the word. Thank you, sir. Good points. In fact, I do know of a place. I picked up a 2020 Silver Eagle for $24, and I almost consider that a good deal, you know, these days. But anyways, by that address. Okay. Silver Rookie says, The squeeze was caught by the panic buyers. They drove it up and are keeping it up by doing uh, pre-orders. Get a grip on reality, people. You just price yourself out of ever being able to recoup what you spent. FYI, all my silver is for sale at these high premiums. Yes, indeed. Well, and that's just it. It's uh, it's it's all what you're comfortable, um, you know, pricing um, or buying, you know. And seeing these premiums on silver, uh, I told people at the beginning of this, you know, hey, if these premiums may be short-lived, uh, and the best way for them to go down is if we all just don't buy and let the supply catch up. And then and then they'll have to sell them to us at lower premiums. Um, but the thing is, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And I think that these uh, uh, and um, and we could recoup what we spent on them if the prices keep going up. Uh, but you just don't know. But yet that's part of understanding what you're buying and understanding the premiums. All right. Mr. Rothstein says, uh, what this has all taught me is that, pay, is that money is no longer what we think. Gold, silver, and Bitcoin did nothing during this. Cash is king, and apparently no amount of inflation will hurt it. The digital dollar now incoming if money is truly nothing. They need to just halt all prices and give every human a trillion dollars, call it a day. That's a trillion there, or 1,000 million. It can be proven to be instantly printed with zero blow blowback. It's a scan to keep you poor and keep you out easy. Keep them poor. Keep them poor and control the slaves. I hear you. Well, like I said, just mint one twenty-five trillion dollar platinum coin and be done with it. I'm all for helping those in need. God bless. And meanwhile, has anyone ever seen the inside of, of a mint? I have, and they work pretty far apart, mostly in their own stations. At one point, is it unsafe for them to mint product? Yeah, my local McDonald's is packed full of all school teenagers right now making our food. Dur, dur, dur. Yes, good point. Very good point, Super Dad. All right. All right. 
When silver hits the shelves, it's going to be a madhouse. Yeah, and I think so too. I think when it does come in stock again, we're going to mean we may see premiums come down just a little bit, but probably not by a whole lot. We're probably still people going out going for it. It's crazy the 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 demand for silver. It really is. We got more popping in. We got more comments popping in here. It's crazy. We'll do a couple more of these, but I've been talking for a while, guys. I don't want to bore you tonight. Uh, let's get a couple more here. Come on. Boy. The shortage is orchestrated. Eh, I don't think so. In fact, I know it's not orchestrated, but I, I respectfully disagree. The mines are making money now. Yeah, they probably are now. It's probably an opportune time for them. For sure. Marvo Sarmiento says, if silver does not move at all in the next year to a higher level, its credibility as a hedge will be a big disappointment. It will be, it'll be no difference to corn, oil, or even a collectible relic. It will be subject to the demand of select few acquired tastes. It's not the refuge for times of trouble. Silver will not dictate its value, but the people who knows and manipulate federal suckers will dictate its value. Um yeah, I hear you, and I think it will. I think we're already starting to see that. I think the very fact that silver demand has increased so much, like gold demand, has basically uh, repositioned it to what it was, a safe haven, as money. I think this demand for physical silver in the form of bullion, coins, rounds, and bars, has now put silver in a situation where it can be, where it is seen uh, as a hedge again, as money, um, where we haven't seen this thing in quite a while. All right, let's see here. Looking for a reason to get rid of you. Oh, man. No, I don't need a reason. I'll just cut you off. No, I'm kidding. I appreciate you guys. I always love being here. Paulo, the paper market doesn't care what's happening in the real market. Same as oil prices. You don't see that discount at the pumps. What's the point in having a spot price if there's no reflection in the real market? This is going to collapse. Maybe. We'll see. We shall see. I'm not going to even begin to predict that, but it might be something. Industrial use is way down. And that is something that I think we will see for sure. You're right, it is. But yet silver's physical price is way up. Donald Robinson says, Sal, this presentation proves you are indeed an expert who understands the truth regarding preservation of personal assets. Thanks for enlightening those who do not understand and keep paying it forward, my friend. Well, Donald, first of all, thank you. But I want to say I'm no expert at all. Um, you know, there's a saying, I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm just a dude. I'm just a YouTube channel that happens to be a guy. Um, but uh, it's just my opinion. Um, but... I would say do your own due diligence, do your research, always fact check everything, um, and know that most of what I say is, is an opinion. I try to base my opinion on some fact and experience, but there's times I get it wrong too. But anyways, Native Stacker's got a pouring vid. All right, I'll check it out. That's cool. All right. I need to catch up on some videos, and I want to catch a little bit of Stormy's auction tonight too at 630 8.30 Eastern Time. 8.30 Eastern Time. Appreciate you guys hanging with me here. All I can say is historic. Maybe I'll write a book. Yes. These are historic times. There's a slurp because I haven't done one in a while for Barbara. I hope she hasn't left. All right. Press 4 if you have a mullet like mine. Bob Holter has good info. Never heard of him, but that's cool. Thank you. Easy money is over. Yes, indeed. Uh, Guy Shipman, keep up the good work in video style. Well, thank you, Guy. I appreciate that. I will try my best. I'll try my best. I appreciate you guys being here. You guys inspire me to keep moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. The enabler can't find anything cheaper in my local coin shops. Less than $30 an ounce. Whoa, wow. That is crazy. That's crazy there. Paulo, I watched Silver spending three hours trying to get above 1410 and finally broke through and went to 1425 only to be shorted all the way to 1385 in the space of an hour. I missed that. That's crazy. Yeah, there's 
the market's going to be upside down for a while. There's no free lunch. That's true. Actually, there was for me. I packed my lunch today, but I did have to buy that packed lunch. You know, everything too, so. Okay. Thor Bradshaw says, Silver won't ever go up because this proves the world economy is rigged and the Constitution and Bill of Rights is worthless and governments are all in on the hoax. All right. Sorry, Sal, I'm losing faith in silver because the paper will not allow it to go up. But paper can't stop it from going up. It's going up anyway. That's that I talked about in the video about the physical price. Driver M, silver continues to get kicked around in the paper markets, but not in the physical markets. Stacking Stormtrooper is here. And, uh, you know, if there's one, if I could, you know, I... I think stacking, I've come to the conclusion that stacking Stormtrooper does a better impression of me than I do of me. Yes, indeed. All right. Yes, indeed. There you go. Our salivate metal here. Let's slurp for you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to slurp through a tin whistle now, and I'm going to make sure that I am available at 830 to watch stacking Stormtroopers live auction at 830. Yay, though, I will probably not be able to make it to the VIP auction but i will be able to see at least a little bit of the beginning of it but maybe you will stick around and check out the stacking storm trooper and do not call him stacking storm pooper because he's not he's a super duper storm trooper and he's going to have his auction and it's going to be a pew pew time for it all and so yes yeah, listen indeed all right there you go that's my impression of stacking storm trooper impersonating me that's right, indeed. All right, very good. Okay, all right, here we go. Buckethead. Some people call him Buckethead. I like to call him Stacking Stormtrooper. You know, you can call him Buckethead or Stormy, but I call him Stacking Stormtrooper for short. All right, let's explore! Do that tonight, okay? Do it that long tonight. Did you time that, Stacking Stormtrooper? I want you to say that that long tonight. Ladies, you heard of if Sal is available, says Herb Ash. All right. Summer Drill Pickle. Good night, everybody, especially the Inner Sanctum. If you know who you are. Thank you, Pickle. Appreciate it. You got me in a pickle trying to think about this Inner Sanctum stuff. And it's better. Than, I'm glad you didn't uh, tell everybody about their Inner Rectum. That would not be good. I have two Performance Lab. Would you prefer to stack silver rounds at $18 an ounce or ASC at $22 an ounce? Mmm. You know, I'd probably still go the ASC route or route. I can't decide whether I go the ACE route or whether I would go the ACE route. You pick one of those two. That's what I would do. That's just me. Thor Bradshaw, the premium is what you need to charge dealers to buy our silver and gold as well. That's right. And they are taking them. Dealers are starting to pay higher premiums now for your silver now. Believe it or not, they are. And that's when it becomes extremely, <clears throat> that's when it becomes real. All right, switching to water now, because I got cinnamon in here that scratches my throat. God smack him, get back. All right, very good. Merrick is here. Merrick is here with a check mark. Yes, Merrick. Awesome. Heavy check mark. All right. I'm FOMO now. Miguel Intencion. All right. Well, if you get turned on by missing out, then you're a FOMO sexual. All right. Avalanche 2. Now that spot is low, silver has been this pricey. Silver hasn't been this pricey in a while. Yes. Yep, that's right. Exactly right. Keep up the great chats out of here. Thank you, Joe Costello. I appreciate you, my friend. Have a good one. Take care. American Copper Eagles, A-C-E, yeah, I meant to say A-S-E. Did I say A-C-E? I meant A-S-E. <clears throat> ah. Westerner days. In these times, I really doubt the past performance is indicative of a future performance. Our circumstances now has not happened in modern times, and nobody knows what the future performance will be. In my mind, $10 over spot for Silver Eagle is not a reasonable price during any time frame. Well, I think it's for that very reason alone why it might be a reasonable level over spot because we're in unprecedented times and because supply chains are so tight. Uh, Keith High says, I'm getting my silver for $13 an ounce so far. I'm up $207 an ounce at $13 uh, at once. You don't need to buy. 
new, be your own dealer and bank. Interesting. You have to tell me how that works out for you, Keith. I've never heard of that. Like my name, get your own, says hello on this one. Enjoy Silver says, there are always good deals on eBay, but you have to put in the time. That's true. You got to do it. You got to do it. Put in the time. Okay. All right, let's see here. Okay. Carrie Keith Sherwood. Yes, it is, Sal. Bought it until it hurt. Good. All right. Very good. Oh, Gold Chick Vibafell says, Sal, on a heart. Thank you so much, Gold Chick. Hugs to you. I appreciate it. If I was there, I'd give you a big old hug. I don't care about this COVID thing. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Silver Strike, that was your silliest ending yet. I approve. Thank you. Yes, indeed. You're the... I think uh, this is only the second one to comment on the ending of the video. Sometimes I put little uh, little nuggets at the end of the video, and this one had a funny little nugget at the end. Uh, but anyway, so if you get a chance, check out the end of this video. Silver was on sale. You might like it. You'll probably think it's corny and cheesy, and it was. I'd fully admit it. Please rate guitarist Joe Walsh. Well, he's no Yang Vey Malmsteen, and he's no Carl Sanders from the death metal band Nile. I'd probably give him a solid six and a half. All right. Very good. Christopher Zur says, I see a lot of silver and gold on eBay. Yes, that's true. It's there, uh, but they're selling for pretty high dollar. Um, and uh, if people can find a way to do it, they're going to they're going to they're going to they're going to get rid of it there. All right. Saxon Stacker. Gold and silver is happy. Keith High. The dealers out here don't pay anything for silver. Hell, a lot of them are not open, but the ones that are selling are not buying. Interesting, yeah. Interesting. My LCS is paying premium for silver. All right, let's see here. All right. Thyme the Dream. I'm listening to your commentary intensively in our live stream at this very moment. Well, Thyme, thank you so much. I'm responding to your, we're doing a three level deep uh, uh, situation here where I'm responding to your comment verbally in a live stream. You're listening to me in a live stream, but I don't see you in here typing on a live stream. Weird. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Speed Demon Express. Metals as money should never say $1, 25 cents, 50 cents, or some denomination of fiat. Metals as money have to say the amount of troy ounce of silver and gold because it's the metal that is the money. That's right. That's very true. And I think that's one reason why the uh, the Libertads are not denominated in pesos. <clears throat> Which, by the way, the word pesos uh, it literally means weight in Spanish. And I've got a Libertad right here. I just flipped it. And this Libertad right here, it says plata pura, one onza. There's no denomination on it. The Mexican government has den has denoted this sucker as money, as a currency. All right. And as that and Stormtrooper would say, get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. That's right. Okay. Mito Man. All right. Paper GSR 113.34 to 1. Cost differential buying 1 AGE to 1 ASC 70 to 1. Cost differential on buying in bulk, 75 to 45, 75.45. Selling AGE to buy ASE, 66. Selling ASE to buy one AGE, 133.56. Great point. Wow. I don't know how you came up with those numbers, but um, but I think you're onto something, Medio Man. Are you in here, Medio Man? Because that is exactly right. Depending on the premiums you lose uh, when you make the trade or gain, uh, you will see different gold to silver ratios depending on how you trade it up. Great comment, Medio Man. Great comment, indeed. Second shoot for wait until tonight. I have one en enhanced get off my lawn action tonight. Nice. Cool. All right, Silver Steeler, have a good one. I got some things to do outside before I lose the light. I hope you ate all of that uh, macaroni and cheese and didn't offer me a single bite. Nice and warm in your belly. Here I am slurping on water right now. But yes, indeed, Silver Stealer. All right, and have a good night, evening, my friend. 
And you and Winning Image Photography, appreciate you guys. Johnny, it's time to be creative. Just today I picked up a Palladium wedding band at $4 over scrap with a little bit of haggling. People are hungry to make sales. If you get outside the bullion market, and also make a good purchase with a little diamond ring. Very good, yes. Sometimes you can do really well with those jewelry purchases. We had a guy in here called BSO who used to do that. Big Silver One, he really did a good job. All right, he used Atmex ASC and AGE prices. Did you calculate uh, loss of premiums too, I guess? So their buyback prices and stuff? That's a great thing. That's awesome, Medio Man. Great post. Does really make you think, for sure. Thank you, Winning Image Photography. All right, take care, Stacking Stormtrooper. Don't forget, Stacking Stormtrooper, tonight at 8.30, Stacking Stormtrooper is going to have an epic auction. It's always fun. So check him out. Yes, indeed. All right. Take care. Take care. All right. Two buckets prospecting. I got to get going soon, too. Good grief. I can't believe how late it is. Recovery will take five years, if at all. The potential is there for a complete collapse of the entire system. All right. Wow. I hope it doesn't take that long. All right, guys. I think we've come to the end. We've been on for a while. We had a good, solid stream. This is great. So I appreciate you guys indeed. And uh, remember, a multitude of gratitude. Keep your feet in the stars. Keep reaching for the ground. I appreciate you guys being here. A multitude of gratitude. Have a good one. And I will see you later. Take care.